I'm halfway through creating some online video content for Frenchy Paint, and one of them is to paint these old garage doors of mine behind me. However, there's some tasks that have popped up for Three C's products in preparation for the painting. Now, around the sides of the frame where it meets the brickwork, there are some small gaps where I'm going to fill using Three C's GP. It's a general purpose silicone. This will make them more airtight, weatherproof, as well as reducing any sound traveling through. Give your finger a little clean with one of their silicone wipes and then smooth off the surface. I don't have to worry too much about what this looks like. It will be getting covered later with a plastic bead. If you've got larger gaps like this side, you can always fill them first with an expanding foam, let that dry, and then it can be covered. Around the top and the two sides of the frame, I'm gonna be covering them gaps with a plastic PVC bead. I've mitered the corners at 90 degrees. I'm gonna fix them down with a multi-use all-in-one adhesive sealant. I'm using the crystal clear multi-use, but it's also available in white and anthracite. But no matter how good you think you are, long strips like this, you need a helping hand. Now the beads are fixed into position, I can crack on with the preparation on the rest of the woodwork. This needs a quick scrubbing off with some sugar soap, dried it, sanded it to realise there's many old cracks in this door, bearing in mind it is about 23 years old. But it's nothing 3C's quick fill couldn't sort. It's simple and easy to apply, squeeze the cartridge, once it oozes out, smooth it off with the scraper. The fill is dry normally within one to two hours under normal conditions, then I give it a quick sanding down. Although quick fill is predominantly used indoors, if using it for outdoors, make sure it's dry and sealed with a weatherproof sealant before it's painted. Once this is dry, then I start to do my painting. Now in their video, you see me apply the paint in three different methods, a paintbrush, a roller, and then the paint spray. Once the doors were complete and dry, I hand painted the frame a different color. Then I applied another line of the crystal clear multi-use around the outside edge of the plastic frame that was painted where it meets the brickwork, which finally sealed it off. Then give your fingers another clean off using the silicone wipes. So that's my wooden garage door and frame now complete. If you want to see the full step-by-step -step stage on how I prepared and painted this garage door, head over to Frenchie TV on YouTube. But if you just want to know more about the vast range of products that 3C offer, check out their website.